Hello everyone, here is Dr. Rasim Fatih Bitul. Today I am going to tell you how to use faster tool kit in TB tool. So let's begin. Faster tool kit contain different functions like faster extract. It has different types, four types, then faster stats, faster manipulate, reverse complement like that. You can ID simplify, ID rename, ID prefix, uh, faster to table converter, margin split, get the representative sequences, and sequence pattern. You can use this tool to extract or manipulate your protein or your nucleotide sequences according to your need. So first one is the faster extract. In faster extract, uh, you can see three. Uh, tabs the first one is a input faster second is output faster and the third one is input id list and i have other options that you can choose according to your requirement in faster output file you can put your nucleotide or the protein sequences and uh, in output path uh, output faster file you can put, give it the output pathway of your uh, analysis in the third set output ID list here you can put the num IDs uh, like your gene ex or protein excision number or IDs according to your genome. So I am putting here the tomato sequence protein sequences in input faster file section and then click initialize. This will set up this file or link this file with algorithm used for it. So now it's initialized. Then you need a gene ID list. Here I put 10 tomato genes and then give it output pathway. So and also give it a name. I name it FASTA extract dot. Give it extension. I give FASTA. FASTA is a standard extension for protein or nucleotide sequences. And then choose fast header pattern match, whole word match, click start and wait for some time. So it has extracted the our required input genes. So you can check it using reviewer. So here is fast text. Here it extracted our 10 gene sequences from the input protein file. The next one is <coughs> the next two tools extract and filter extract sequence app. They also work in a similar way. The next is FASTA stats. FASTA stats have two options. The one is file input and the sequence input. File input need just a file containing your protein sequences or nucleotide sequences. And seek input means sequence input. You can directly input your sequences and get your results. So first I will tell you how to use file input. Drag here and drop your FASTA file. This will contain protein sequences. Close and then simply press start. This tells that we have 10 number of sequences. The total length of these sequences is 4518. The minimum length is 119. Maximum length is 1154 and the other analysis statistical means and medians you can also if you need this information in a file format you can also input output pathway like this and fast uh, stat name and then extension is txt click start it gives you the results in a file you can review this, preview this file. Uh, here you can see the first one is original ID, simplified ID, description and the length. It will give you these three parameters. So see the first one, this one is the original ID, this one is the simplified ID. This one is a description of this gene 
and the last it gives you the length of sequence. So all our 10 genes are formatted like this using FASTA stat. If you have, if you want to do through sequence input, simply drag and drop your sequences here and then press start. So it also gives you the similar results. So it depends on you which way you want to use for this tool. Next is ID Simplify. With this tool you can change or remove the description that is mostly given next to the oxygen number in protein sequences. Like uh, here you can see the first is the gene oxygen number and the second is its description in the genome. And if you want to remove this description you can use this tool first ID simplify to remove this information so it again it has two options the first one is the file input and the second one is sequence input you can use according to your ease so I am using the file format simply drag and drop your FASTA file in input FASTA file uh, place and give it an output pathway rename and give the name to that file here the extension is faster and then click on simplify my sequence IDs so it has already done so we can check see here it removed the description that is given in our original file let's compare this one is our original file you can see in our original file the oxygen number contain description but in our modified file the description is removed so with this you can remove this information the next one is id rename in ID rename, it also contains the three tabs. Uh, first one is for input pathway, second is for output pathway, and the third one is for the file which contains your gene information. Here you can need this information in tab delimit file format. Like the first column contains uh, gene inform gene IDs, and uh, the second one contains uh, your required name or new name you want to give it your is to your sequence here i give uh, tomato one to sequence one two to next one and so on so to do so first you need f to input your first uh, file i uh, put here and then give it an output pathway and name the file first uh, id rename i gave it the name and extension is faster then click start so it's done now we can preview so first uh, id rename so you can see here our gene oxygen numbers are now changed to our given names tomato 6, tomato 7, tomato 8 and all our genes are successfully renamed ok the next tool is <coughs> faster to table converter it again has two options you can choose whatever you need file input or sequence input here i'm using the file input just drag and drop your FASTA file here choose uh, in convert directory choose FASTA to table give it an output pathway and give the name to file i give FASTA to table 
dot here the extension is xlx and then press convert so it has successfully converted sequence to tabular form now here you can see the first column contains the gene ID or the gene name and the second column contains our sequence similarly if you are if you have or you want to convert your tabular formatted sequences to faster formatted sequences do it in a reverse way and drop your tabular formatted sequence file in FASTA input file location choose table to FASTA and in input give the name and pathway to the file I name it table to FASTA and here again I use the extension FASTA click convert so it has successfully converted our tabular formatted sequences to faster sequences so here you can check you can see all the sequences are now again converted to a faster format the next one is split and merge Split and merge, these are two different functions. You can see here the first one is for merging your different first of format files into a one file. And the second one is to split your single first or multiple uh, sequence containing first of file to a number of file you need. Like here we have 10 sequences. So we input our sequence file give it output pathway Oops. and, and rename it i give name uh, split dot faster and here you can put the number of files you want like i have 10 sequences in this file here you can see I have 10 sequences 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I want to get all these sequences in a single file. Each file contains a single sequence. So I put here the number 10. And then number of files 10. Click start. So it is finishing the splitting. Here you can see it's split into 10 files. So we can preview. See, each file contains a single sequence. Single file, single sequence. File 0 contains no sequences. Similarly, if you want to merge all these splitted sequences or you have a file containing multiple sequence you have, like you have multiple files first of files containing new retarder protein sequence and you want this file to be a single file then you can use this portion merge first of file into one first of file function to merge all these files so I am going to do I choose all the files I need to merge and drop here set input first of file list and then give it output pathway rename it I rename it uh, merge dot fast then click start so it has successfully merged here you can see now we can preview this file here you see all the individual files are now split it into a single file so this is all for today how to use fasta 
toolkit to perform various functions with your protein or DNA sequences. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like. Thank you for watching. This is Vaseem and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.